I wanted to talk about something that people actually care about. Yes, the royal baby. But no, we're not going to be going into royal and rolling coverage. We won't be going live to London. We won't even be speculating on baby names. There is a point that I wanted to make at the start of this program, is that of all of the hoopla and all of the understandable joy that comes with the imminent birth of a child, there is a person that I feel rather uncomfortable for this evening, and that's the mum-to-be. Kate Middleton clearly didn't choose for this to be the way that her pregnancy would be announced. She went into hospital because she was feeling crook, and ultimately, then, it had to be revealed publicly why she was there. Now, it still hasn't been made particularly clear if she's 8 or 9 or 12 weeks pregnant, and anyone who has been through the tenderness of that particular time, particularly for a woman, would know the last thing you want is for your family to know before 12 weeks, let alone everyone in your street, your nation and the entire globe. Now, all I will say is this. We, of course, are all desperately fascinated to know what's going to happen and if everyone's going to be safe, but we also need to keep a spectacular distance from a lady who just needs a little bit of time to herself with her husband, and when the time is right, she'll come out and do all of the pictures and all the rest of it. But what I am fascinated by now is that in the, in the absence of any comment from William or Kate, in the absence of any official comment from the Queen or anyone else, the media has started to try and put two, two, two and two together. 9MSN, this very evening, is actually speculating that they think they have worked out the exact bungalow on a Pacific Island nation where the beginning of an eventual reign of the King or Queen of Australia began. I think we can all agree, as fascinating as that might be, it might be a little bit much. And wouldn't it have been hilarious, though, that if they were backtracking and they worked out exactly where it was, that it, they could trace it back to the very minute that Wills and Kate were at Brisbane Airport for three hours in a stopover? I'm not saying that I have any proof, but I'm saying they don't have any proof either. So that's Australia's claim to eventually our king or queen. And good to know that the law is going to change in the United Kingdom, that regardless of whether it is a boy or a girl, it will be the monarch. And if it is going to be twins, the first one out, that's the one who's going to win the ultimate prize. Or is it the second one out who wins the ultimate prize of a life of luxury with no responsibility? But please, as fascinated as we all are, keep our distance until she is ready, until baby's ready and until family's ready. But it is a happy and joyous occasion the world over. So all the best to them and then plenty of people who are very excited by it.